Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Another Massachusetts update, another overreach by our tyrant of an attorney general, Mara Healy, who apparently doesn't know what her job is, doesn't know a damn thing about firearms, and is becoming blatantly honest every time she opens up her stupid mouth. Mara Healy, the attorney general of Massachusetts, has just launched a sweeping investigation into possible safety issues involving two major firearms manufacturers, Glock and Remington, both of which are fighting her efforts. Healy uh, ordered both companies to turn over all kinds of documents as it pertains to uh, safety issues with anything that they make, to include customer complaints and company responses to those complaints. Now, as a firearms instructor, a former police officer, a former member of the United States military, somebody who practices and teaches firearm usage and the safe handling of such. This next part just drives me nuts. In her newly disclosed legal action, Maura Healy, the Attorney General of Massachusetts, the top legal law enforcement official, she said that Glocks are prone to accidental discharges. Now, if you know anything about guns, you know this is horseshit. There's no such thing as an accidental discharge. Guns just don't go off. I've stared at them, I've put them on tables, I've called them mean, mean things. I've been very rude and it's never shot me. It's an unintentional discharge. It means the dummy on the bang switch pushed the bang switch. That's all it is. The dummy pulled the switch, Mara, not the gun. Fool. Because she thinks she's so smart and, 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 more, and brighter than any of us, she referenced all kinds of news stories where there were accidental shootings or unintentional shootings of people who just happened to be holding a Glock at the time. Now, that would have happened no matter what they were holding. If they were holding a Smith & Wesson and shot somebody, they would have gotten shot. If they were holding a high point, I mean, who the hell would hold a high point? But if they had a high point and shot some and pulled the trigger, someone would get shot, mostly. If they had any gun, Mara Healy, you fool, this would happen. Stop hating on Glock just because you own stock in another brand that's here in the state. Now, both Glock and Remington have countersuit have countersuits against Healy that they launched in Suffolk Superior Court. Thank you. Now, in Massachusetts. It's dumb, it's ridiculous, our gun laws will make you, your brain hurt, it'll make your eyes bleed if you try to understand them. But as a former cop, I can tell you with certainty that they're, they're screwed up. But <laughs> Massachusetts, you can't buy a brand new Glock, new issue Glock, unless you're law enforcement. Dumb, absolutely stupid. However, you can buy pre-ban, pre-1993 Massachusetts gun ban firearms, Gen 1, Gen 2. Can't I can't buy a brand new Gen 4 magazine, but you can buy pre-banned magazines. Same magazines, same plastic, same steel lining. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. There are other ways so you can still legally buy Glocks in Massachusetts. Now, Maura Healy is absolutely pissed, livid, that 10,000 Glocks were sold here in Massachusetts between uh, January 2014 and August 2015. She can't believe that people would buy a Glock. Evil Glocks! Of those 10,000 evil guns that were sold, 8,000 were to non-law enforcement officials. Now, as a former cop, I'm telling you, that law is complete bullshit. We're supposed to have the same weapons that our uh, government has. Because the Second Amendment is not about hunting, it's about fighting and protecting freedoms. Now, of these papers that Healy is demanding from Glock and Remington, they're not just from Massachusetts, they're from every state in America. And not only that, she wants complaints, paperwork, files, and responses from every country in the world from these two firearms manufacturers. So she wants to use a complaint lodged by somebody in Uzbekistan in her lawsuit here in Massachusetts. Talk about an out overreach. This lady has no clue. I mean, it's obvious now, if you haven't been following, it's obvious she's making a political push uh, for her name to become well-recognized, which it is, but not for good stuff. She's pushing for a federal job should Hillary Clinton get the job. Now, she hasn't responded to Remington's countersuit yet, but it's coming. And I also have really, really good first-hand knowledge that Glock and Remington are not gonna be the only ones that she goes after. There are gonna be more in the coming days. So if you know anybody who happens to work at a gun manufacturer, I know there are a couple that work for Glock. I know there are one or two that work for Smith & Wesson that watch my stuff regularly. Gentlemen, they're coming after you too. Spread this 
Now, spread it like wildfire to everybody in every state you know because Massachusetts is about to go fucking foobar. That is the latest as of 9.35 a.m. September 1st, 2016. I do have more information that will be coming in another video or two. Um, I did speak to some more uh, representatives who are very pissed, and a lot of them are Democrats too. Um, big story that's getting bigger. The Democrat Party is pissed off at Maura Healy as well, and I'm going to be hosting a roundtable discussion here in the Worcester area so that uh, we can talk to our representatives and figure out what we're doing and get on the right page. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned to this channel, subscribe, so you can get all the information because that will be coming up soon. I'm, th I'm pushing mid end of September. Please guys, like and subscribe and pass this along. Nobody's covering it. You know what I say it in all the videos. It's true. Otherwise, you can see this stuff on every channel, but you don't. Uh, please like and subscribe. Like I said, I thank you for your time. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Mara Healy, your time has come.